Hi, I'm Judd Crotzer. I'm a fisheries biologist with the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department. And we're out here today on Line Brook in Vermont's Northeast Kingdom. And we're working on a strategic wood addition project. A few years ago, we scouted this stream and we found that it had the right combination of slope and width um, for a strategic wood addition project. And we found that there was not as much large woody material in it as we would hope. Um, and so that's why we prioritized it for adding wood. And um, we do that by dropping streamside trees into the stream. We put a lot of thought and planning beforehand into where we're gonna work. We put a lot of thought and planning into which trees we use. Um, and we place them in such a way that we get the maximum benefit out of them. We're adding this wood so that they, the, the wood will accumulate organic material, especially in the fall when the leaves are trying to float down through the stream. We want to capture that uh, so that those leaves stay in the stream, decompose and become food for insects, which are the food for the fish. The large woody material that we're adding also provides cover for the fish. This is a brook trout stream and this wood provides places for those brook trout to hide from predators like mink and otter and birds. Um, and we know from studies that we've done that Water temperature and habitat in the stream are the most important limiting factors for brook trout. So by adding wood to the stream, we're addressing that habitat factor. Um, and we found in our studies that when we add wood to streams, we've seen the abundance of brook trout uh, increase, in some cases tripling, uh, where we've actually added wood. Um, the added wood can also, in some cases, produce a pool, which is important habitat for brook trout. And it can also do some other important things as far as stream function, like helping the stream to retain uh, fine sediments up here instead of downstream. Uh, so we want to retain fine sediments up here in the headwater streams versus downstream where everybody lives. We want to hold that, that material up here. Uh, this type of work can also improve our flood resiliency in our state because we are adding wood that, that increases the roughness of the channel so that when we have big flow events, we're slowing the flows up here in the woods, maybe even having the, the water spill over into the forest where it can drop material, it can slow down instead of coming rushing down and causing problems for everyone downstream.